Hey CK friends, it's Kay from ClosetKeepsakes.com. I have a Trinity Thrift video. Today I am doing a haul. I know it's been a minute since I've done a haul, um, but I think it's about that time. So today I'm gonna do a haul on clutches. Um, I am just like, I love accessories just in general. If I find them at a good price, I am stocking up on them. Unfortunately, it makes my life hard because of all those accessories I buy, it's hard to like see them in the closet and kind of pick and choose what I want to utilize from day to day. And uh, every now and then I go in there and I'm like, oh, I forgot I even bought that. But when they're on a on sale or there's a great deal or it's really cute, you have to get it, right? So um, today I wanted to do a clutch haul mainly because that, that's the item that I have stocked up on and sometimes I forget about. And um, they're always a really good deal. Like all the clutches that I've purchased from thrift stores have been like $2 or less. Like I haven't paid a lot of money for clutches at all. And typically they're in really good condition because people don't wear clutches from day to day. But clutches are a wonderful way to change up your style without changing your clothes. Like you could go from wearing a tote on your arm to putting a clutch in your hand or under your arm and it just changes the look of your outfit. Um, even if it's a casual hour, you got jeans and a t-shirt and a clutch, it just kind of classic, makes it look a little classy, a little different versus like having a crossbody bag or a tote, like I said before. It just changes the complete look of the style. Um, so let's get started. Let me show you some of the clutches I found for $2 or less. Um, so the first one is this dark red one. I've actually shown this in the haul before. Um, I really like this one. I love the color. That was the first thing that drew me to it. It's in great condition. It's like envelope style. You see the V right here in the front. Uh, it also has these gold accents on the side here. You see that? And this is the back. It also has, like I said, um, pattern on it. So it's like the stone type print in the red um, material. It was in really good condition. It does have like a few strings hanging off the edge right here that, that can easily be, you know, remedied. That's not going to take much to um, fix. I'm going to show you the inside. The inside was also in really good condition. Um, this purse in particular is like it's never even been used. Really? Uh, it might have, like I said, the strings for maybe just being in the purse bin or being, you know, moved around. But it really looks like brand new. The inside is like in perfect condition. It does have a phone pocket as well as a pocket that zips on the side. I think that the size is great because I am the person who is trying to get their whole life into their purse, even if it's a clutch, right? So I need a decent sized clutch. And I also think with the color, even though it's not like a neutral color, it's still very versatile. Like it can be worn with a lot of different outfits. So I really like this purse. And um, it only cost me a dollar. So it was a great deal. So this one is, has a similar pattern too. It is copper. Um, this is the back. But it also has a stone pattern. You guys see that? Um, I really like this one, even though it's really small. Um, I was drawn to it, one, because of the color and the shape of it. It's kind of, you know, geometric, kind of a weird geometric shape. Um, it has this fastening here in the front. And I like also that it's copper, so it's kind of a neutral color. Um, it could be worn with a lot of different things in a lot of different ways. It has a pocket on the inside. What I don't really like about this purse is that it's so small on the inside. Like I said, I need to fit my life in a purse. And this is only going to carry a lip gloss and an ID. So I'm going to need more room. So it is very rare that I use this purse. It only costs me a dollar. But I think that it's good to have in the closet for those situations where all I need is a lip gloss and an ID maybe. <laughs> but I really was drawn to it, like I said, because of the color and the shape. So the next one is not stone pattern. It actually is a little more, I guess, dressy than the other two that I've shown. Um, this one has silver at the top, trimming at the top. And on the bottom, it is pleated like navy satin. So it is kind of a little more fancier. I don't know if you can see the pleats in that. And it also has the bracelet handle here, 
which makes it a little different too. So you don't have to kind of hold on to it, clutch it all day. You can actually just put your arm through the handle and let it hang. Um, it also, I wanted to show you the handle. It has like a little bit of texture to it. I guess it's supposed to be kind of like a faux rhinestone look, but it's really like little holes drilled into the metal. The inside is very small. Again, I've used this first. You can see the stuff on the inside. What is that? It's paper. This one doesn't have any pockets or anything though. This purse is the pocket. It is pocket size. But um, I still thought it was very cute. And this is a really great way to dress up a casual look because of the textures and colors that they used. So I thought it was a good deal. It's in really good shape as well. It does have a couple strings as well on the side. I don't know if you can see that right next to the... But like I said, that's an easy fix. So great deal, $1. And this one's a little bit out of season, but I really love this purse. When I saw it, I was like, I have to have it. It is this red straw purse. It's so cute. This is the back. It does have a little bit of damage. It has like strings as well. Uh, but I think for a straw purse, it is in really good condition. Um, it has a vintage look. Actually, it is a vintage purse. Like the maker is really old if you look on the inside and look at the tag. The inside though is not as in great, it's not like pristine condition. It does have like ink marks or scribble scrabble on it. Like somebody's pen top fell off and maybe moved around the purse. It doesn't have like an ink spill where the like the pen busted, but it does have a little bit of like stains from ink marks on the inside. But other than that, it's in really good condition. I just was really drawn to the red and then the texture. Like I haven't really seen a whole lot of red straw purses or clutches um, in a thrift store or just in the store. So I thought it was unique, it was different. I thought it was really cute and I always just am drawn to like vintage type styles and looks. So I was really excited about this one. And I only paid a dollar for this too. Great deal. Um, it's kind of out of season, like I said, it's winter right now, but it's definitely in the rotation in the spring and summer months, so. And the next one, I'm back to my stone patterns. I don't know if it's just a popular pattern for clutches or I'm just drawn to stone pattern purses, but it is this black one. That's the back. It's another envelope purse. And I love this. It is a good size. It's not as big as the red, two red purses I've shown, the stone um, envelope purse or the vintage one. It's somewhere in between like the small and the big. But it has enough room to fit some of my life. Like, the things I really, really need, it's going to fit in here. And I'm not going to be, you know, struggling or stretching the purse out of shape or anything like that. Um, what I did love about this purse, besides the accent, is that it's black. So it's basic. It could go with a lot of different things. Um, it is a material. It has, like, a leather look to it. So it's casual enough to wear casually. Or um, I wouldn't necessarily wear, it, like, formal with formal clothing but I would wear it like if I was going to a club or a happy hour or something like that I would definitely utilize this purse um, I also love like the silver accent here on the opening and let me show you guys the inside it's very basic it does have a zip zipper on the inside also one thing I really love about this purse is it does have a handle as well so I don't have to hold it under my arm or in my hand all night but I'm always cautious about this um, anytime I have like a wrist purse, I have an issue just letting it hang. I still want to hold it because I don't want it to get snatched up or to open up and I'm not aware of it because it's hanging from my wrist. So I always still kind of like hold it and have it on my arm for like that extra security. But I really do. I love this purse. It cost me a dollar as well. Um, very affordable. It is in really good condition. No strings hanging off of this one. And like I said, it's very versatile with the color and the texture of the material. So this is like one of my favorite clutches that I have. I showed this one a while ago. I got it for a really good deal as well. It's this purse. I love this purse. This is the back. Um, I mainly love it because of the texture and the color. Like blue is my favorite color. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of like a suede material. It has like this metallic stuff, accents, embellishments in the front. 
It is a great size to fit my entire life in here. Not the same amount as a tote, but it works. Um, the inside is in like really good condition. This purse is like, it was never used as either, you know? Um, like somebody liked it and they was like, well, I never use it. Let me go give it to Goodwill. But um, I just really love this purse. I don't, I don't know. And I only paid a dollar for this as well. Great condition. I really want to like put this in like at everyday rotation, but you know, it's not really practical and I don't want to damage it. Like I don't want it to get so much wear and tear, but I really do love it. Okay. So this is another one of my favorites. This is definitely like a spring summer purse, but I love it. This is a straw purse. It's vintage as well. Um, this purse actually has a little more damage, but I think it's still workable. Like, if you can see it in the back right there, it has a little bit of damage in the straw. And it's hard to, like, keep these type of purses really nice unless you store them properly because of the it's straw, you know, straw could dry out and start, you know, to tear apart. So, this is the purse. It has the fastening. The fastening is actually Velcro, which I thought was kind of interesting. I was surprised to see Velcro. Also, something else I was very surprised to see was the inside. It is quilted on the inside. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. It is quilted, which I'm like, I don't, I did not expect that. I don't know what's going on. But, I mean, it holds everything I need, so I'm not going to complain. It also has a little pocket on the inside. Um, you can fit something in it. But I love the size, of course. I would not put my life in this purse, though, because it's straw. Even though it's quilted on the inside, I didn't want to make anything, like, too heavy for a purse like this. But um, I haven't actually used it yet because I want to see if I could do something with the damage that I have. There's some on the top, too, before I use it and, and you know, make it worse. I don't want to make it worse. But I love it. I love, like I said, vintage, old school um, retro type just stuff like clothing, not stuff. I won't say stuff, but clothing, fashion, accessories type items. So I only have one more purse to show you. It was a dollar as well. And I really love this purse. It reminds me of my grandmother. Like I feel like everybody from her era probably had a purse like this. So it is vintage as well. <laughs> And I feel like she had one of these. I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure in my heart that she did. It's this purse. It's silver. It's like an old school, like typical clutch. The only thing that is different that I noticed is that um, I believe that the one I seen or thought my grandmother had, had like the two little hooks on the side for a chain. And then you could take the chain on the inside. But this doesn't have the hooks or the chain. It just is plain. It doesn't have hooks or chains to connect and wear, you know, around your arm. But I really like this. It's like I said, it's vintage. It reminds me of grandma. Um, it's silver, and I think grandma had a gold one, but silver, it goes with a variety of things. You could definitely wear this to a formal event as well as if you want to dress up your casual style, you can wear it to the club. This is versatile. Because it doesn't have a lot going on, but it has that, like I said, metallic silver um, material look to it. It's going to work in a lot of different situations. Um, one thing that I don't care for about the purse is the size and the um, stiffness of it. Like, some of the purses are smaller and I could put stuff in it. Now, it's going to stretch the purse out a little bit. But this one, it has no give. Like, it's not even trying to let me put stuff inside of it. It is, like, really, really hard. Y'all hear that? It is, like, hard. So you could get um, only a certain amount of items in here, and that is it. Like, it's not going to have you do too much. But I think the look of it is very simple. It's very basic, and it's very cute. And it cost me a dollar as well. So... Like I said, don't sleep on the clutches. Like when you go to the purse section, take some time to look for those type of items because I've um, always seen clutches very low price. I don't think I've ever seen a clutch in a thrift store that was over $3. And, you know, you'll, other purses will cost over the dollars, but I don't think I've seen a clutch over 3 
Um, and that might not be all stores, so I'm not saying that's going to always be the case. But I've been able to find some really, really good deals. And if it's cute and it's a dollar, I'm probably going to get it. Like, that's just what it is. So, like I said, take time to look through um, your purse section. Sometimes, also, they'll be in bins. And I know if you're not a thrifter, that probably sounds really overwhelming for you. But a lot of times, a lot of the great deals are in the bins. Now, I'm not going to recommend or tell you to look through bins that are dirty and filthy and got all kind of mixed material in it. Um, one of the stores that I like to go to, it is only purses in that section. So it's different types of purses, but it's only purses. And when you're digging through, the bins aren't too deep. They're kind of shallow, so you're not like got to you know, dive in to get it. But um, you have to kind of, you know, move things around to get what you're looking for. So don't sleep on that either. You know, take opportunities, especially if you got some time in your day to shop, to do that because you're going to find some really good deals. So thanks for watching. Before I go, I do want to remind you that we do have our annual I'm a Diva Trini Thrift um, clothes event coming up February 4th, 2017. You are all invited to come. Um, tickets are on sale now. If you visit the events page on the website, www.closetkeepsakes.com, it will take you to the page where you can buy tickets. Um, the events have been pretty big, have gone really well over the years. Um, we always have a featured showcase from Kasha's Creations, a local designer. Her fashions are outstanding. Um, we have a lot of competition, a lot of vendors. It's just a lot of fashion fun, trendy thrift fashion fun. So it's not going to cost you a lot, and you can walk away with you know, some cute fashion items. Um, so check that out. Um, also check us out on social media. Of course, we're on YouTube, Instagram, WordPress, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Blog Loving, WordPress, almost everywhere. So like us, become a friend, subscribe, thumbs up, um, and just connect with us in any way you can. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and keep thrifting. Bye.